have a lot of clients asking us about artificial intelligence, 3D animation, 3D modeling, and so on. So this is the system that we recommend to our customers for this specific purpose. One of the biggest reasons is that it supports up to three full RTX cards. On top of this, it supports 1.5 terabytes of memory. It also supports dual Xeon processors from the first and second generation. It can even go with two platinum second generation CPUs. The front of this particular build has four drives, and the back also has the expansion board. Most of 7920s do not come with the expansion, but this particular build has it. Soon, I'm going to open the front bezel and show you the four ports in the front for the drives, and then after that, I'm going to show you the back. Okay, I took the front bezel off. Now you can see the three hot swappable hard drives and one 512 gigabyte NVMe drive. There's also a couple of USB-C ports here as well. Now, from the back of the system, you can see the power supply. You can also see that this particular system has three video cards and the expansion board. Now, I'm going to take off the cover and let you see the drives. Okay, now the cover is off and you can see the drives. As mentioned before, they're hot swappable. The system comes with two 1 gig ports on the motherboard, but we also added a NIC with two 10 gig ports. The system is ready to be connected in a cluster or even by its own. There's plenty of power, and next, I'm going to open the side of it and you're going to see how the cards are configured. Okay, the side cover is off and now you can see the video cards. At the bottom we have two RTX 6000s, and at the top we have another one. As you can see, there's a cover that's hiding the CPU and memory, but soon I'm going to take it off and show you the number of memory dims this system supports and how the heat sinks are set up. Okay, the cover is off. You can see the heat sinks and dim slots. As you can see, most of the memory dim slots are empty as we only have the system configured with four 16 gig memory sticks. For this particular build, we do not need a lot of memory, but mostly GPU power. Now, I'm going to close it up, install Windows, and run some benchmarks. Okay. Windows 11 is installed. We're going to go over specs quickly, and then we're going to run some benchmarks. This particular system has two gold Xeon second gen CPUs, four cores each. There's few cores, but very high clock speeds, and that's what our application needed. Okay, next memory. Also, we don't need a lot of memory, so we only have 64 gigs. What we needed mostly is GPU power, so we put three RTX 6000 cards, and it also needed a quick network connection, an ethernet connection. So we installed an additional dual port 10 gig card. Okay, here's the user benchmarks. The gaming is very high due to the three RTX 6000s. The desktop is kind of low because of the small amount of memory and the way it's configured. It's complaining about XMP, but it's fine. Also, the workstation is extremely high. Here's the results for Blackmagic raw speed test. As expected, the CPU did not do so well, but the GPU benchmarks did great, and they're all green as expected. The Cinebench results show that the CPUs are okay, and that the three RTX 6000s are extremely powerful and would be great for AI modeling, 3D modeling, and rendering. This is the most powerful GPU system that we have built. You can purchase this system from us for $5,800, or you can ask us to build a system for you with your own requested custom specifications. Also, shout out to Art of Server for this request. I'm